Hey, my friends, it's Andy over at Falco K9 Academy. Glad to be with you. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. Uh, I had a little trouble trying to find the correct site that I want to use to help you understand a little bit more about CBD oil. Uh, uh, understand also, this is a fairly new subject matter for me, but I do have some results uh, that I can give you as uh, my own um, uh, you know, experience using CBD oil, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Uh, I do want to remind people, uh, especially those of you that are dog trainers, that we have a program that um, we are uh, launching and we're going to be talking a lot more about it on our Falco Canon Academy Facebook page. It's called the Human Dog um, Transformation System that we're currently putting together. And uh, it is shaping up. We had a meeting here yesterday. At least the, the trainers got together. We're talking about the new systems. Uh, some of the new things we're going to be talking about, and it is such a great discussion. Uh, watching the excitement with Aldo uh, Secchi, who is uh, our lead uh, trainer in this area, uh, teaching the other uh, students about it. Uh, it's just something else. Hey, Trina. Nice to see you. Matthew Adams, glad to see you. We're going to be talking about Matthew Adams probably a lot on this broadcast. We're going to him. Um, and... Um, uh, uh, the human dog transformation is just just amazing. Uh, another thing that's kind of funny, I'm going to get to the, H, uh, the CBD oil in just one second, but because one of these things that's so funny that I'm going to talk about a little bit more, especially to our dog trainers, is that one person made a decision not to uh, not to sign up uh, for the the train the dog trainer program that's in the human dog transformation system uh, because he said he saw um, too many uh, negative um, uh, reviews. Now. This is interesting <laughs> because I've been, and I've talked about this before, but I've been training dogs for a, a very long time in the area of 30 years. We've trained dogs in, uh, in different continents. Uh, we've trained them all over the world. We have thousands of customers and dogs we've trained. Um, and we um, have done a lot, uh, especially in the pet dog industry, thousands of dogs in the pet dog industry over the last 20 something years that we've been training pet dogs, not just police dogs, detection dogs, that kind of stuff. And uh, the negative uh, uh, testimonials or negative reviews, uh, there's two. <laughs> And I got to thinking, just uh, laughing, if that was the decision, I mean, if you've, you obviously, um, it is possible that he didn't, if he's, you know, at least been on our Facebook page, that I guess you could know that we've not been doing this for a very long time. But I would be able to uh, weigh the, uh, okay, this guy's been around for a very long time, and there's only two. <laughs> and I got to tell you, the two that are negative, uh, one of them for sure I know that we have no idea. It has nothing to do with us. And I don't know where that guy went, but it wasn't here because based on the complaint, if anybody has been to our uh, pet dog training knows that, that it is an impossibility that what he wrote, I, you know, just paragraph after paragraph, it has has no has nothing close to what we do here at Falco Canyon Academy. So how that happened, I have no idea. Uh, but I, I just, um, you know, it's just an interesting thing uh, that you hear once in a while. And uh, whether it's uh, Yelp or our Facebook page, uh, there's two that you can, I can find anywhere. And so uh, I also had some uh, interesting things happen. This is the thing with the CBD oil too. And this, this has a direct correlation. And I'm sorry, it doesn't seem like it does, but you have people that say things that don't necessarily know what they're talking about or they're competitors. Uh, I have a, a, a lot more complaints on my YouTube videos from people writing down things, not complaints against, well, I guess it is against the subject matter, maybe not against me. Uh, well, yes, because uh, some of them, it is against me attacking me because I'm, you know, saying something nice about something that some people think is a horrible thing. But uh, you're going to hear things from people um, and, um, you know, the, especially from competitors who get other people to write bad things on your stuff. I have one really long tirade that somebody said that I was a horrible person. And it turns out it's a, a, the girlfriend of a competitor of mine. Uh, and so, so it's such interesting stuff. Uh, in relationship to CBD oil, uh, one of the things I did a broadcast on my personal page and a friend of mine said, you know, that's really bad what you're talking about that, you know, and that, and then somehow I'm associated with you doing that because you're promoting marijuana. Uh, no, <laughs> that's not what I'm doing. And so I find it very humorous uh, in some level, but it is the world we're living in. And one of the things I want to talk about in regard to CBDO is why it is okay. All right. It is going to be OK. I promise you. Uh, and uh, let me just tell you what it is. So this will be helpful before we start talking about dogs. I'm going to talk to you about what it is. And um, cannabis oil, uh, CBD, is just one of over 85 cannabinoids that is identified in the cannabis plant. Uh, CBD is becoming increasingly popular amongst the masses for having a wide 
scope of medical benefits due to clinical reports and test data showing little to no side effects, little to no. I have not found the little. Uh, I know that uh, I think somebody was complaining about some headaches. Part of that is the cleansing process that the CBDO puts your body through. Um, but I've not seen anything else. And a lack of uh, psychoactivity typical associated with marijuana uh, and the high of THC. It has, it has none of that. We're not talking about getting high, right? That is the thing that people keep thinking, well, um, aren't you getting high? Isn't it addictive? No, because that's not what it is. Um, CBD is not uh, only a major uh, phytocannabinoid. It is also, uh, it is the most concentrated form from uh, three main cannabis plants. And there's some other stuff written here. So what does the CBD, what does CBD work? How does CBD work in the human body? Now, there's nothing here that has it for the dog's body. So all I can do is give you the information about the human body. And it says CBD or cannabinoid is the main active compound in hemp. And unlike THC, unlike THC, I just got to remind you of that. It is not psychoactive. It is not psychoactive. It doesn't give you the high that, that people, uh, it doesn't make people high. All right. Instead, it triggers the body's endocannabinoid system, which features receptors throughout the brain and the body. All right. So I just want to dispel that it doesn't make you high. The stuff that I am promoting and, and, and giving you and that Falco Canine Academy is making available to you is probably at least what I've been able to find the best in the industry. And it's pure. Uh, it is low in, in the THC that is still in it, which is 0.03%, which is very little. Uh, I hear in the next month or two, they're going to have um, uh, some that has zero THC, zero THC. So those of you that get tested, and again, I'm talking about you right now, but I'm going to be talking about the dogs, that you that get tested at work for, um, you know, to make sure that you're not getting high uh, on your off-duty time or it breaks, um, that you'll be able to use because it will not have any uh, THC in it at all but all the benefits from CBDO, all right? So we're talking about something that's legal in all 50 states. We're talking about something that ha does not get you high. We're talking about something that has only, for the most part, benefits and very little, if any, that, and I've not found any of uh, side effects in any way. So uh, there's no reason, at least in my mind, uh, not to try it, and I did. So let me first tell you about what's going on with me. I've been taking it over the last three and a half weeks, if not four weeks now, and it's completely changed my life. And uh, if you go to uh, today's CBD oil, I'll put a link in here um, now. Let's see if I can get that. Today's CBD oil Facebook page. Um, oops, using the wrong search part of my thing here. Um, uh, you can see some of the videos that I've I've made uh, on my personal file. This is a public page, so you'll see I've I've, I've uh, put in some of those um, videos that I've done. So I'm going to put that in here so you can know that too. And so why do I tell you about me? Why am I telling you about something that has nothing to do with dogs to start? Because I want to tell you that I've tested it on myself before I'm telling you to put give it to your dogs, right? And is that is that not one of the things that we like to do for our dogs sometimes, right? I know people that at the Pet Expo, which is coming up at the end of this month, by the way, um, and uh, yeah, towards the end of the month, it's the third week, I think, in, in April. Anyway, uh, I have uh, sometimes dog food and dog treats, and people eat it before giving it to their dog. Why? Because they love their dog so much. So if you love your dog enough, um, you may want to try it yourself <laughs> and then um, give it to your dog. And so that's what I've done for you. I've tested on myself. I'm still alive four weeks later with lower blood pressure. Number one, I've had high blood pressure since I was a kid. Yes, since I was a kid, I've had high blood pressure. <clears throat> I've been on uh, blood, high blood pressure medication for years now. I'm pretty close to getting off of those meds, as far as I can tell. I've got down, <clears throat> and, and in those videos, you'll see I actually show up my report from Kaiser Permanente uh, with my last result, which is 128 over 85. Now, to you that know anything about blood pressure, you go, well, that's not low. It's much lower than it was. I, I take blood pressure. Uh, uh, um, you know, They take my blood pressure at Kaiser, <clears throat> and there's been many days where they've not let me left. They'd not let me leave the office because uh, they tell me my blood pressure is too high to, to allow me to leave. And so you can imagine, I can't think of the amounts right now, but I'm sure I could find it and share it with you, that um, <clears throat> it is um, my height, my blood pressure has been high and I've been on medication. I'm, my goal is to get off of the medication and uh, the CBD oil is uh, getting me, giving me that opportunity. Uh, before I started taking it, I was pre-diabetic uh, for a very long time and now I'm no longer pre-diabetic. I sleep 
uh, like nobody's business now. I sleep well. I've gone for years and years and years, as long as I can think where I've only been getting two to three hours of sleep and it's, and it's not even great sleep. It's just broken up. I can't get back to sleep. It's restless. Now I've been sleeping uh, six to eight hours a night. Uh, and if I do wake up in the middle of the night, I go right back to sleep. It's it's there's nothing like it. My pain that I have in my shoulder. Those of you that know me, I've been training police dogs for many years. I've been getting hit over and over and over by 20 uh, by uh, 80 to 100 pound German Shepherds, Belgian Malinois that run at about 15 to 20 miles an hour, hitting me in full stride over and over again in my body. Um, for day for uh, for most of my life and for much of my my adult life and i have serious pain in my shoulders and my body that is now virtually gone i feel a little something but it's it's one of those things that i could barely lift up my arm at times and now i can do things that i've not been able to do turn my head that i and without any without any pain which is incredible because that's not something that i've been able to do so that's about me so why am i talking about again all this about me because i believe based on what i'm seeing is that it's doing the same thing for people's dogs and it is amazing helping with skin issues helping when their anxiety that's another thing that i talk about is that i've had years of dealing with um you know moments of anxiety moments of, of heart palpitations because of things going on in my noggin and those two have virtually gone away uh, and so dogs that have anxiety and fear issues and that kind of thing can benefit, I believe, from uh, CBD oil. I've seen testimonials and it's been pretty miraculous what has been going on. I'm going to do my best right now to find a couple things for you <clears throat> so I can show you. And, and I'll read some of them off a testimonial page about um, some of the things that are happening with dogs. So let's see here if this is the one. Gosh, I wish this, I hope this is the one. I was trying to find them, that's why I was a little bit late, and then I ran out of time. I thought I had them pulled up on this computer, and I don't, they're pulled up on another computer, and I uh, messed messed this up for me. So you're gonna have to allow me a moment to, um, to find them so that I can give them to you. All right, give you the testimonials. Ah, so this is a good one. So this is, um, uh, a testimony. My testimony with hemp oil. This is my dog Max, and he has suffered from horrible skin allergies his entire first year of life. He is only 14 months old, and let me—I can do this. Ha -ha. All right, I want to bring this up to the broadcast. I want to make it solo. All right. So um, he's only 14. Uh, the, the, he is only 14 months old. I had tried everything from switching his food, bathing him in chemical-free shampoos, herbal shampoos, washing his bedding with laundry detergent that is free of harmful toxic chemicals, giving him allergy chews, uh, brewer's yeast, coconut oil, various itch sprays, and on and on. But I've only been using the hemp oil for a few weeks now, and look at the difference. No more scratching, <clears throat> uh, chewing, and licking uh, his hair off. Uh, of his leg and paws. This stuff is amazing. So here is the before. Look at this. All the skin missing off of his legs, the back of his legs. And now look at this. And we're talking just a few weeks. And this is from a testimonial page that is not necessarily public. So that's what it looked like before. And I know you, some of you have dogs that have this issue. And now here's what it looks like now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right? You can see the difference. Um, just amazing. Um, and let me, I'm going to take it off screen here for just a second so that um, I can find the next one. Uh, make myself solo. All right, here's another one uh, as soon as I find it. But you can imagine how much money that she spent on all the things that she did, changing the uh, shampoos, herbal shampoos, uh, changing the bedding, finding des uh, uh, detergent that is um, hypoallergenic um, to... Um, uh, gosh, countless other things that I think she said, uh, trying shots, uh, vet visits, all this other stuff. Just craziness in the amount of things that we do for our dogs to try to find a solution. And we spend tons of money. But yet, if we just would have tried something as like CBD oil, then, um, you know, everything changes. And there's all kinds of uh, uh, support for uh, this uh, in this particular post. We have just started our two dogs, Border Collie and Shih Tzu, on the pet oil. Katie and our Border Collie uh, has been licking her legs lately, and I suspect it is arthritis. And she is nine years old now. I will be watching to see if the licking stops now that she is in the oil. Squeaky is uh, Shih Tzu on, um, on good health, seven years. Uh, thanks for sharing. So, yeah, other people are going to be trying it. And there was another... Hold on, I'm gonna find it. 
that was a really good one. But there's some of these testimonials are mixed in uh, testimonials for their children. Same thing with allergy issues. Um, uh, while I worked uh, in the morning, my cuddle tubster after his CBD drops, calm and no anxiety. He has no more allergies and hardly sheds. My 10 year old Doberman has no more arthritis signs. signs. It's not necessarily making the arthritis go away, but no more signs of pain e either. Um, crazy stuff. Um, a, a reduction of skin allergies. There is one really good, I don't know if, um, if maybe Matthew can help me, there was a video that I, I wanted to share and I, I, I'm getting the feeling it's not in this group. This is the one I was trying to find. It is of a dog who could barely walk. So it was a dog that could barely walk at the start of the video. He was getting up and like, it was a, um, a bulldog and you know, bulldogs, they have enough medical issues, you know, and on top of it, he's having trouble walking and the dog could barely walk down uh, just the, the kitchen floor, which is in the video. And then she, uh, the, the, the lady starts giving the dog the CBD oil. And this, uh, I think it might have been two to three weeks later, there's another video of the dog going down some stairs. And then at the last step, it jumps off and starts running away. Are you kidding me? Uh, it is, uh, and, and again, it's unbelievable. I'm telling you, if I would not have started taking the CBD oil myself and having the results that I've been having on my own stuff, then I would say hogwash. There's no way. Um, that um, this can be doing all this stuff. It's it, I don't understand how one thing can be doing so many things, but then once you start taking it and seeing the results yourself, it, it is literally amazing. I'm gonna tell you, HempWorks is the stuff that I'm using that we are now a distributor for because I believe in it. I told people this in my, uh, in my own uh, uh, videos about my own results that I like it so much. It's kind of like this commercial that I hear in, here in the Orange County, Los Angeles area that runs about a company that, uh, oh, Matthew's gonna try to find it. Thank you, Matthew. I, 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 I can't find it for some reason, it's driving me crazy. But um, it is um, a company that said they uh, had got some blinds from this company and then with the, with the service they got and the quality of the blinds they got, they loved it so much that they bought the company. Uh, I, my crazy goal, and you need to have a couple crazy goals. Crazy goals are those goals that you have that people think that you're crazy for thinking it, right? And one of my goals is I'm gonna buy this company. That's how, that's how much I love what um, the CBD oil from Hemp Works is doing for me, that I love it so much that I'm gonna, I'm, my goal is to make enough money to buy the company uh, because I love it that much, because I feel that the changes that it's gonna make, not only in the human lives that I'm, I'm speaking about and, and hopefully encouraging to give CBD oil a try, that now also the lives of dogs will change. Uh, there's one aspect of the anxiety that dogs um, uh, can get um, from, uh, you know, different things and some of the training that we need to do <clears throat> because of anxiety and fear issues that, um, um, that it's hard to get to the training part because the dog is so fearful and so, um, uh, 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 you know, hesitant to, to do anything that we're doing because of their fear and anxiety that we can't get the training process. And so, um, I'm, I just got a link here that, that popped up and I'm hoping that it's it. Um, oh, no, this is another. I, I'm getting so many testimonies. I'm getting so many re, uh, uh, messages from people. It is truly unbelievable what people are telling me because they're telling me they're having the same kind of uh, success. Now, I'm telling you that there's probably people that it's not helping, right? CBD oil, same dogs that it's not. But I'm finding far more people that are saying that it's helping with things that they're doing and, uh, and, and less of people going, eh, it just wasn't for me. It's either they didn't stick with it long enough. Because, well, you don't have to stick with it very long because you see results pretty quickly. But there is a chance that whatever it is that you're taking up for, <clears throat> you may not see the results in a while. But I'm telling you, uh, I'm getting them all the time. So what was I saying? Um, that uh, I want to buy the company. Uh, I forgot I, if anybody remembers what role I was on, I can't remember, but with in relationship, Oh, fear in the dog. So if we can get the, take the edge off, if we can get something that helps take the fear away enough that we can start the training process, then the CBD oil could be that thing because there's some things that we have to, when we get a dog in board and a board and train and, and the, the issue is fear based 
or anxiety based. <clears throat> Sometimes we can't get started with the dog until some of that anxiety is reduced by the dog being with us for a couple days. And sometimes it, it can take two weeks for a dog to calm down enough for us to begin doing stuff if it's really, really bad. <clears throat> and so instead, if we had the CBD oil, which I'm thinking uh, is going to help with the dog's anxiousness and anxiety and fears, because it does that for human beings in the testimonies that I read. Uh, it works for uh, uh, men that are coming back from war or police officers that have um, anxiety due to their job and post post concussion syndrome and post uh, traumatic syndrome um and it's helping with them and it's helped with me with the same things i've had uh, some issues with some of the things that happened while i was a police officer that has made it difficult for me that now since i've been taking the cbd oil from nearly day one from taking the oil that have virtually disappeared uh, i met with my ex-wife in a meeting that went horribly wrong i would normally be like all tied up in knots and going to the bathroom every 10 seconds, you know, because your stomach gets so messed up that none of that happened after my meeting, none of it. And it is normal for me to have that after even a meeting that goes well, because the anxiousness of anticipating that meeting, I get all tied up in knots. There's many of you that I know that have that same thing. Like there's certain things that you either need to do in, a, in your personal life or your business life that before you're doing them, you're getting all like all anxious. You're going to the bathroom a lot. Your, your stomach's bubbling and a bunch of stuff like that's going on inside your body. Uh, but with the CBD oil, it has virtually uh, gone away. All right, cool. Uh, I got the link here. I got to, I'm afraid if I, mm -hmm. let me see if I can copy it from here. Go to, go to, nice. Okay, it opened up another, another page. I want to make sure it's the same. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much, Matthew. You're the best. So Matthew Adams is my mentor in regard to CBD oil. All right. So he is the man. And um, hmm. all right. I just did something here. Hold on. So that link just played that video and now it ended it. And now I can't get back to it. Oh, here's the replay. So this is, <clears throat> all right, got to share my screen. Okay, I see what you're doing, Matthew. Thank you. So here is <clears throat> the before. All right, I got it. I just about got it. Stand by. <laughs> Up to the broadcast. All right, here we go. So here is the before, which I'm gonna show you right now. So this is what the dog looked like. And I'm so happy you found it, Matthew, because I think there's there's so much that needs to be shown because some people just will not believe it. So I'm gonna start over. So here she is trying to walk, the dog, right? She just can barely, look at her sliding out the tile. For dogs like that, the tile is so difficult to walk on, right? It is just nearly impossible because they're trying to hold those legs and it hurts just to get up. And they think, I'm sure the dog goes, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, I have to get up. Gosh darn it. I had a dog that had that kind of thing going on where it was just like, oh, oh I forgot. I got, <laughs> I just saw my whiteboards all cockeyed. They used my whiteboard for something yesterday and it got, uh, it got damaged. <laughs> so now I got to take it down. I forgot to take it down, but I'm looking at my screen here and I see, look at, look at my things all crooked. What the heck's going on here? <clears throat> so and here's the next video that I'm going to share with you. Let me just make sure it's the right one. Yeah, it's just another video of, uh, here, I'm gonna see if I can find. So, yeah, so Matt, yeah, so Matthew is hard at work trying to find me the, uh, the ones that I'm, I'm, they're coming. All right. So I'm just going to skip because this one's another, it's just painful to watch. And I'm sure people don't want to watch this dog. I, I would show you the one, but it's oh, the first set of videos is just showing how difficult it is for this dog um, to walk. And Matthew's working hard back there. Let me talk about Matthew really quick. So Matthew Adams, who is busy trying to find me the videos now, uh, he's been telling me about CBD oil amongst other people who has been telling me about CBD oil since I got diagnosed with cancer, uh, about two years ago. And so, um, and uh, still don't know what I'm going to do about it yet or the results. So, um, uh, or how bad it is, I guess. And so uh, people give you all, you hear all the solutions, right? Hey, you need to take lemon with some chili powder and do this stuff. And you need to change your diet. You need to do this. You need to go see this doctor. You need to go to Scripps. You need to go to, all, they give you all this advice. And one of them mixed in there all the time was consistently CBD oil that, you know, you need to try CBD oil. Whether 
it's going to um, you know help you get rid of the, the cancer or help you when it's time for chemotherapy and all the things that go along with having cancer that it's it'll help you get through those times where it's just so painful and, and your stomach's all upset and you can't eat that kind of stuff that the CBD oil <clears throat> is fantastic for that and I just kept saying no I'm not going to take it I had the same belief system that somehow I was going to get addicted or it was you know it was going to get me high because I didn't know anything about it I was kind of naive to what CBD oil was and then finally, uh, Matthew Adams said, let me just send you a couple of things. Just take a look of these things. Let me just give you the information and you watch them, you read them. And then if you still want to talk after that, then let's talk. And so I watched them. I go, hmm, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was this. I thought it was something else. It wasn't, I thought it was illegal. No, it's not illegal. It's illegal in 50 states, the United States. Uh, I found out that we can actually ship it to New Zealand. We have a distributor in New Zealand who uh, is going to be distributing it for us um, and um, other countries. Uh, and and yet there are some countries that that, uh, that it's illegal. I think Australia is still illegal um, uh, until the THC gets taken out of it, I'm guessing. Um, and so there are some countries and those are, that's because people don't know, know what it is. They're afraid of what they don't know or they're afraid that it's going to replace, you know, the pharmaceutical company and their power in those areas. Um, and so, um, the um, uh, Matthew Adams, uh, who is the guy who sent me the videos, I go, you know what? I want to I possibly want to give this a try, and he, and then I still put it off, right? I still I couldn't push the button <laughs> to buy, and he just, you know, he's saying, I understand people uh, have a feeling about this, and that's totally fine. Uh, but when you're ready. Uh, let me know. So I, I read a couple other things and I, I went to him and I said, you know what? Uh, I, I forgot what happened. I think I went to the doctors and my blood pressure was just sky high. And again, they, they wouldn't let me leave. And I said, you know, I hear this is good. This is good for blood pressure. He goes, dude, he goes, it's so good for blood pressure. Uh, at least, you know, the, uh, the what I'm hearing, you can't make any claims, right? Medical claims that it's going to help you. But I know that it's helped me. I know it's helped other people. And yes, I've had a lot of people say that they uh, love it. And so um, uh, I tried it. And those are my results. My blood pressure dropped substantially, no longer pre-diabetic, pain-free, sleep great. Um, I had an itch on my body that I put the oil on. That's all gone. That's been there for years. It's been, uh, what do they call it, um, you know, skin type of thing that uh, just always itches all the time and always kind of flares up depending on how tight I wear my pants because it was right here around my waist. That's all gone. So uh, that is, it's been amazing. Uh, I'm going to start giving it to my daughter who's 10 uh, for her allergies because I understand, like I've been sharing with you, that it helps with allergies, not only pets, but also human beings. So I'm going to be giving it to my 10 year old daughter. Yes, what I give it, you guys know how much I love my children. You know how much I love my kids, right? Uh, would I give it to my 10 year old daughter if I thought there was anything bad about it? Absolutely not. And so we're going to find out, uh, hopefully, that it will help with her. Um, so let me just see, because now, now I showed you the downside of that dog. I have to find the, uh, the video where the dog is walking <laughs> or going down the stairs. Uh, let's see if I can find it myself. So Matthew's looking, I'm looking. Uh, and I know that this is probably the most fun that you're possibly having is watching me. Oh, oh, wait, is that it? Maybe I might have found it. No, that's just the one video. Hmm. Maybe that's the whole video. Let me just play it over here on this side. And again, it's just the dog. Hmm. There's the video of the dog running down the stairs. I don't know why this is so difficult now. I swear I have it on that other computer, uh, but you don't want it. It's in my bedroom and you don't want to see my bed and everything in the background. Uh, <laughs> maybe you do. I don't know. Um, let's see. So in there, I put the URL hempworks.com uh, forward slash today's CBD oil. Uh, that is Falco Canine Academy's um, uh, a website for purchasing uh, the CBD oil. Uh, once you get it, you're going to want to get on auto ship because you're not going to ever want to run out. You're just imagine all the money you're spending going to the vet uh, for for the vet meeting or vet meeting the vet the, the veterinary just seeing your dog right. Uh, the appointment it, it costs a hundred and something dollars. Um, oh, he's found it. Good. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> I'm sitting here sweating going, I got to show the video of the night. I brought it up, uh, but uh, I've been watching the video. I probably watched this video a hundred times to see if I could see any shenanigans and uh, no, and there's no reason to do shenanigans, right? This testimonial is not in a, in a, in, you know, in a, in a public place where she's trying to sell anything. She's just sharing. This is what happened with my dog. She just wants to show people, wow, this stuff is great. And I wanted to thank you 
right? By uh, showing you the results that it's had with uh, uh, with my uh, the results that I've had with my dog, and um, I, I, I'm I'm so excited that I can't uh, speak, and I'm waiting for it to come through. I'm sure you, it, there's a delay uh, in uh, things posting here. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in there. I don't know that I have all the answers, but I will uh, direct them and, and bug Matthew to see if I can't answer the questions for you. But if you have any questions about the CBD oil, whether you're watching us live right now or you're watching the replay, uh, feel free to put them into the chat and uh, just say, hey, I've heard blah, 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 or does it help with this? Or have you, have you seen any results from people trying it that have this going on with their dog. And I'm telling you, if it has anxiety, uh, if it has um, uh, skin issues, if it has uh, pain uh, involved in that question, I'm gonna tell you that there's some testimonial that is gonna help one of those things. The, the mental part of it, the physical part of it, and then the, uh, the, the, uh, the itching and those kinds of symptoms that you can have. You know, sometimes the skin issues has to do with fear, right? Right. Chewing on the paws and the, and the, and the manic behavior sometimes is not necessarily something that's going on internally in the sense of like some chemical imbalance or something like that. It's, it's coming from the head, right? It's, it's, it's something that's going on inside their head. I posted it. Do you see it? No. Um, is that it? One, two. No, I don't know. You can send it to me in Messenger if it's easier for you to do that. Oh, is that um, is that where you put it? Put it in Messenger, and I'll just click on it from the Messenger uh, place. Um, but so some of those things, um, yeah, for some reason, it's not coming up, Matthew. I'm not sure why. Um, and so it could be on the broadcast, but it's not coming through on Live so that I can see it here. Uh, and so... Um, the uh, the questions that you may or may not have are important ones because it helps me too. It helps me understand it better. It helps me do the research. And one of the things that I know for sure, as those of you that are dog trainers know, that by teaching and teaching people about dog training and, sh and sharing the examples and your experience, that it, it really makes it more... Uh, uh, more of a learning experience for you, the person who's teaching it, right? Teaching something is a great trainer for the person who's teaching it. It's, uh, oh, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna open it up now. And, yep, there it is. Nice. Oh, thank you. I, I owe you, Matthew. I don't know, someday, for all that you've done for me, <laughs> I've got to uh, repay you somehow. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. Stop sharing that one. Share the screen. This is the one you've all been waiting for. It is the video of the dog jumping, running down the stairs. Again, this isn't like a puppy running down the stairs. This is a dog that you just saw could not even barely walk, right? So what you're about to, oh, dang it, cancel. Uh, <laughs> so excited. So what you're about to watch is a dog that could barely stand just a few moments ago. They could barely stand just a few moments ago. Um, Here we go. All right. Sorry. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. All right, I got to close some of these other windows. It's driving me crazy. Okay, let me close this one. Let me close this one. Oh, technology, right? Technology is so fantastic. So, so fantastic. All right, so now I only have one Facebook page open. Now I can find it. When I, what I was doing is when I go to share my screen, it lists like 10 different Facebook pages. And so I was, I was obviously always picking the wrong one. Okay, here we go. So here is the video. Thank goodness. All right. Hello. Here it comes. I promise you. There's a little delay now. Is my I hope my video wasn't too bad. Because I, I can see that it's struggling here to uh to do anything. Maybe that's what's uh all right. So now you're not gonna let me <laughs> This is so wonderful. All right, hold on. Come on, baby. There we go. Nice. All right, so finally. Yeah, it just kept dying. It kept crashing on me. Okay, so here is... I'm going to take down this lower third. Sorry. That's probably irritating. All right, so here's the dog after taking CBD oil. Remember, the dog couldn't get up. The dog was having trouble walking on the tile. The dog was uh, obviously in pain by the way that it was walking. Watch this dog now. Doink, 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 doink. This dog could not walk. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is fantastic, right? Uh, 
I don't even know what to say. So uh, there's plenty of um, uh, testimonials for dogs that I could share all day long. This video would go on and on and on if I were to share all of them with you. But uh, when somebody posts a video like that or a testimony like that, then there's all these comments in the bottom that people talk about how, yes, I was doing the same thing with my dog. Now that dog is pain free. Now my dog is pain free. Uh, yes, I was taking CBD and then I was giving it to my dog. And now my dog uh, who normally has anxiety around the 4th of July was able to handle this 4th of July without a hiccup and didn't start you know, chewing on its paws, didn't go run and hide underneath the table where I couldn't get him out. And I saw none of the signs of the anxiety that the dog had to do, uh, had to deal with the last 4th of July. And so, so many stories about that. Um, and just do your research. I, I, I put two things uh, in there. I put my uh, uh, Facebook page for today's, uh, uh, today's CBD oil on the, our Facebook page. So click on that, that'll take you to the page. Make sure and like it and share it and do all those things so other people can learn. And then I put the link to where you order the CBD oil. I would love for a few of you, uh, if not all of you that are watching, to try it, to get to buy what you need to give to your dog and see, and then share with me whether it helped your dog or not. If you can do that, if you have uh, the ability to do that, and again, I've tested on myself. I'm still sitting here with you, speaking to you today. I'm healthy and I'm healthier than I was before I started taking CBD oil. Um, and so I'm telling you that there's, a, I have not been able to find any side effects. Um, I uh, did research. You should do your research too. You should also look into it to make sure what I'm telling you to be true, but you should also give it a shot when you get a chance. As soon as you get an opportunity, give it a try. Um, really um, uh, do yourself, um, a favor, do your dog a favor and see if this is one of those things that's going to help. Again, uh, little to no side effects. Uh, again, uh, uh, I have no side effects. I think the one thing I did here recently is that somebody got some headaches from it. And again, most people say that that has to do with the, at least what I saw, it has to do with the cleansing process that your body is like going through the change and the, the cleansing of the things that are making you not feel as well. And that will give you sometimes give you a headache. Just make sure you drink lots of water when you're taking CBD oil. Um, uh, April uh, Roga is on, one of my really, really good friends, and uh, uh, we've been doing a lot uh, uh, in, uh, of talking about autism uh, just because uh, her and I did an interview where we spoke to her as the mother of an autistic boy, and I now, of course, now that's on my radar, so I'm watching all these videos of parents who are using it to help their children through uh, some of the issues that come up with um, autism. Uh, and then ADHD and all these other things, and people are seeing improvement. Does it take away the um, autism? No, uh, but it, it, it helps with some of those things that are really troubling uh, that, you know, helps them with, uh, you know, just the uh, certain pains and certain, uh, you know, inability to sleep and some of those other things that come along with it. Uh, and then in the relationship to people that have, uh, um, PTSD, it's really been reducing all the things associated with that and helping guys uh, sleep better and women who have it sleep better and not have as many, as many anxiety attacks. And there's testimony after testimonial, video after video uh, that you may want to look at. Uh, hip dysplasia. Thank you, uh, Matthew. Hip dysplasia is being helped. Again, the, the, the pain and discomfort. Again, if you're going to have it, can we just get rid of the pain? Right? Can we just help the dog get rid of the pain? My dog had uh, spondylosis where I eventually had to put him down. If you get a copy of my book, Falco Walking with God and the Dog, I have the story. And you know what? I'll share also. I, I also do a talk. And I'm going to put that in here too, uh, just because we're talking about, uh, you know, moving people and talking to them about the things that I want you to know that I had a, a terrible experience with my police dog when it was time to put him down, that it was difficult. It was a difficult, difficult decision. And the one thing I wish I would have had at that time to see if I could help my dog. Now, spondylosis, there's not a, a lot of pain associated with because it's actually killing the nerve and, and any discomfort is not felt because the dog is actually losing the feeling. But if I just could have maybe helped them a little bit. Maybe if this was around, if this was around, at least on my radar back then, um, it, it, there could have been something that I could have done for my dog uh, when he was going through all that. But then the decision that I had to make uh, to put him down um, was just, just horrible. So if we could make our dogs more comfortable and not see them struggling to stand and walk uh, because of the pain of something, wouldn't that be worthwhile uh, uh, to do? And I think the answer would be yes. And I'm looking for my talk that I gave. I'm going to put the link. It's in Vimeo. Uh, if you've not had a chance to see it, I posted it before. And here's the link right here. Uh, share. Copy. Nope. Wrong code. Copy video link. There we go. Copy video link. And uh, I'm going to put that here in the comment section. 
video of my talk. So this talks about the pain and what I had to deal with when it was time to put my dog down and uh, the sadness that I had. Now there's a bit of a, a, a business message in there. So you can skip through the business message on, on my dog saved my life. And so the message in there about my dog saving my life is that he did what he was trained. Uh, and so, um, and he implemented and he took action. Uh, that's something something that we don't often do uh, in our lives, right? We 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 know what to do, we know how to do it, we get trained to do it, but sometimes we just lack the ability to take action. We delay, we procrastinate, we don't do the things we know we should be doing at the time they need to be done. But my dog did not hesitate. My dog did respond how he was trained. He paid attention to his training, and he did exactly what he's supposed to do, and he saved my life. If a dog can do it, that's the message in this talk that I give. If a dog can do it, you can do it, right? You should be taking action. You should be getting trained well, whatever it is you're doing, right? I'm hoping through these talks that I'm giving through CBD oil that I'm, I'm giving you the information that I'm gathering myself by doing it, uh, uh, doing it, taking it, um, and then sharing with you the results, right? That's one aspect. And then looking at different pages, different looking at different videos, um, whether you believe me or not that Hemp, Hemp Works is the best company that I've been able to find due to the purity that of the uh, of the product, due to their studies, due to everything that they do, right? Including what they do as far as people uh, being distributors for them. I think everything about this company tells me that this is the best company for me and for Falco Canine Academy and to bring it to you and share it with you, all right? So but that's because I've done the research. And then once I've done the research, I'm sharing, I'm implementing, I'm taking action. I'm, I'm giving you something that I think if I did not give it to you, I would be doing a disservice to this world. That's what's important. That, that if I know something can save you or your dog from, from years of pain and discomfort and the, uh, the pain of being fearful, that is painful. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, I, I have some stories about some things with children uh, uh, burning in a car and I couldn't get the child out. I was trying to bust the window. People had to pull me off of the car because the car was on fire and the baby was in the car seat. That it, it lives with me every day. Uh, the guy that shot himself as I was talking to him in the head and blew his head off. Um, that those things, and I'm only sharing with you because I want you to sh share with you some of the things that I, I witnessed by using this CBD oil is that is diminished it has taken some of that pain away. And uh, I don't have, I, normally I'd be crying. If I just talk about those things, I'd begin to cry, right? In the past, but not now, right? So if it's working for me, uh, 200 pound, 900, let's go 195 pound man, uh, 56 years old, right? Has it dealt with these issues for years? You know, who at some point say, ah, it's just too late. <laughs> you know, I've been dealing with it in my 20s, in my 30s, uh, in my 40s. You know, now, you know, why do I need about? Well, because, you know, there's no reason I should be on this planet as long as I'm, I'm going to be on this planet and still suffering from all of those things I just described. If there's something I could take that's not going to kill me, right? Because we've seen all those commercials that, that not that this is going to help you with, you know, growing your hair, but it's going to give you migraine headaches. It's going to give you, uh, you have the chance of dying of a heart attack. Uh, once you start taking this stuff, uh, you're going to turn blue. Uh, you know, that has to do with Viagra, I think. Uh, all these other things are going to happen to you, right? It, I don't know that it's worth it, you know. But if you can take it and there's none of those side effects, only benefits that I've seen, right? Again, I don't know for sure this is going to happen to you, but I know for me by taking it, I have no negative effects. Everything that I've had by taking it is positive effects. If I had something like that, right? If, if I were to tell you, hey, I have this thing. Okay, let's just, let's, let's erase what you just heard me talk about. If I, if I come to you and say, hey, hey I have this thing and I'm, I'm speaking loud enough for everybody here. I'm not looking like, I'm not behind a rock or a tree going, Psst, you know, hey, and you know, got a trench coat on. No, I don't have, I'm, I'm out in the open. I say, listen, I have something that if you are suffering from pain, if you have high blood pressure, if you have anxiety, that if you begin to take it, there's a good chance. There's no guarantees, but there's a really good chance that I can wipe all those things up. If I just shared with you, I said, I have this thing that if I give it to you, that it's going to erase the pain. It's going to take away the discomfort and the, of the anxiety that you feel. It's going to allow you to sleep better. Your blood pressure is going to drop down to normal levels. And, um, um, and yeah, there's no side effects. You know, you're not going to, you know, die of a heart attack, uh, because of it. You may still die of a heart attack, but you're not going to die of a heart attack because of this. Um, it's not going to cause you to, uh, never get, you know, to have sex with your wife again. No, that's not what's going to happen. As a matter of fact, it may make it better. Um, and um, none of those things will happen. 
but it's going to help you with those things. If I said I had that solution, you would say, give it to me, right? You'd open it. You say, yeah, I mean, I've been, and if you're, you're a person that's been suffering for a long time, you'd say, yeah, for some reason, because it has something to do with uh, hemp. And in some cases, it has something to do with uh, uh, marijuana in some cases, I guess, in, in some of the stories is that, the, oh, no, well, I can't do it. <laughs> what? I just told you that it could help you with all those things, possibly, that there's a good chance that if you take this, that all those things will be wiped out. Uh, at, at minimum, they'll be better. At minimum, your pain will be less. At minimum, your anxiety will be less. At minimum, instead of sleeping only two hours a night, you're going to sleep four hours a night. We're going to double your sleep, right? Give it to me. I want to take it. Why, why are you keeping this from me? Like, you would be mad if I said, nah, psych, and I put it back in my pocket and I left, you'd go, what the hell, right? You'd be pissed. And so that is why I share this with you. This is why I share it with you because if I didn't, you'd be pissed. If you knew I had this, right? And didn't give it, give it to you, you'd be pissed. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it to you. I'm sharing with you and that's why I'm doing this. Again, I don't care if you use the CBD oil that comes from Hepworks. I would prefer that you do because I think that it is the best company. It is the company that Falco Canine Academy uh, is using to distribute um, uh, the, uh, the products, not only for the dog, but also for you. And so of course uh, it would be like me selling leashes, but I have leashes for sale, but go somewhere else and buy them, right? Uh, it's a horrible business <laughs> plan, right? It's a horrible business decision to, to have all these stuff uh, in inventory and then tell you, but you go somewhere else and buy them. Uh, I would love for it if you were to buy what we have to offer. That would be great. But because it's so good, because of the results that it's given me, um, it's so good for me and it's doing what it's doing for me, uh, I would prefer that you get it from us, but that, don't let that stop you. If you decide, well, you know, I'm going to get it, but I just don't want to buy from uh, Falco Canyon Academy. Um, great. Get it. Hopefully, you'll have the same results that I do, and it'll make a change in your life and, and, and make things a lot better. Um, but uh, again, the reason I do this is because if you knew that I had something so fantastic and didn't give it to you, you'd be angry. Uh, and I owe it to you to give it to you and to share it with you and to tell you what it's doing uh, for my life. So, um, and again, giving it a shot is not going to do anything. Uh, as far as I've been able to find, if you find something, if you find something, I want you to post it here on those comments in the, in the replay and say, Andy, uh, you're wrong. I heard this guy in, uh, in Norwalk, California, who took CBD oil and he grew a second head. And it was miserable. It was a very scary head, and uh, and people were um, were frightened. And his children and his wife left him. Um, if you find something like that, I want you to share it in the comment section, and uh, that way I know uh, that uh, that's what it does. But I have found nothing, and this is their stuff, right? That I'm reading from. So uh, I'm reading from this. There's nothing I found in other people's stuff uh, that. Um, that, that say that says that not even the medical industry is saying that it's a horrible thing, right? The medical industry would be the first one or the, no, the pharmaceutical companies would be the first ones to say, no, no, you're going to get addicted. You're going to, uh, you know, start taking heroin. You are going to take your car and you're going to crash and you're going to die. No, none of those things. I take it in the morning and I take it at night. I take it in the morning before I go and drive somewhere to get a cup of coffee. It, nothing. There's no effects that affect me and keep me from driving. If I got pulled over, uh, it wouldn't necessarily, it wouldn't, it, it, there would be nothing, right? There's nothing. I'd be able to pass all my tests and do all my things. There's no high that goes along with it. Uh, Antonia, uh, yes, hello, Andy, you are right. Ah, yes. Am I right about everything? Because, uh, you know, I'd still be married if I was right, if I was right about everything. But uh, Antonia, thank you. Um, uh, go into more detail. Tell me what I'm right about. Have you tried it? Have you had the same experience? Um, I love that I'm right. There's nothing. I'll take that. I'm going to, I'm going to go like this and use that. I'm gonna take a screenshot. You are right. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. I appreciate it. All right. So my dog could hardly walk 10 minutes with us. Now, after giving her a uh, great quality CBD oil, she runs like a puppy here in there and she walks with us for hours. Thank you. Now about this one now. Thank you. I'm thanking you because I'm telling you that this is, I'm not making this crap up. I'm not just trying to get you to buy something that we're selling because I want you to buy something because we're selling it. That's not it at all. I'm again, making it available to you because you would kill me if I had it and didn't share it with you and get, make it available to you, right? You would be pissed if your dog was like Antonia's and couldn't walk. And I have the solution for your dog to run around like a puppy. Um, uh, but, but, but what was it? Uh, I'm sorry. I got another one coming in here. Um, if you have a dog that can't walk and I said to you, I can make your dog run around like a puppy here and there and she walks with us for hours. 
if I could, if I could say, Hey, you see that dog that you're carrying, you're, you're putting in the stroller because he won't walk because he's in so much pain. I got something that if you tried it, there's a good chance that your dog could run around like a puppy and, and not have to be in that stroller and could actually walk with you and get exercise that it so desperately needs. If I had that and didn't give it to you, you'd be mad. So, but now I'm giving it to you. It's available to you. All right. So uh, it sounds like I'm preaching. <laughs> I'm not asking you to to donate uh, anything to the uh, from the pulpit. I've gotten uh, uh, I've got my new little pit uh, on CBD oil for his uh, separation anxiety. Not the uh, hemp works one yet. Yet, <laughs> nice. I can see a difference in him. He's not breaking out of my house. He took out a window frame uh, before. Uh, now I'm going to go on it soon too. Nice, Trina. The, oops, I didn't mean to take that down. Nice, Trina. It's um. That is great. Yeah. Again, it may not take away all of the anxiety, but it's reducing it enough that now the dog's not chewing out the window, right? And trying to escape. I've seen some, again, I've been in this dog business for a very, very long time. I've seen dogs chew through solid core doors. Yes. Chew through solid core doors, scratch them, scratch them all day long until their paws are bleeding and then chewing on the shred because they can't scratch because it hurts so much and then chewing on it and escaping. And they're a mess and blood is everywhere, right? If you could, again, what Trina's talking about is huge. If I did give that to you, make it available to you, you would say, Andy, what, how come you've kept this from me? You know, you'd be so angry. Um, uh, Antonio follows up with, I am amazed with this result. Truly amazing. It's hard to explain to people. I know. <laughs> That's why I'm so passionate about it because I know that there's people, again, I had a friend who contacted me via messenger and said, Andy, I need to talk to you about um, the CBO stuff. I'm really, you know, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be sharing it this information because it's marijuana. I don't know if you know Andy, but it's it's marijuana. Uh, you know, uh, no, <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. I'm telling you, it's not. Hello, daughter. This is my daughter who I'm going to have on CBD oil, right? So I'm telling you uh, that my ten year old has these horrible. Can you imagine this this kid right here? She is allergic to dogs. <laughs> I'm in the dog business. How do you like uh, being allergic to dogs and cats? How do you like it? I don't like it. You don't like it? Why? <laughs> you were so talkative earlier. I don't like it. You know, it's horrible, right? Because you want to cuddle up. We, we can't have the animals in her room. Um, there's all these rules that go along with it. She's got to, you know, take a, uh, you know, sometimes take a shower after being around uh, animals. Uh, it's just um, uh, a pain in the butt, right? You always have to take allergy medicine. You get shots. Um, not, anymore. not anymore. I had a bad reaction. You had a bad reaction from the shots, right? So we're going to try the CBD oil. What's and um, I'll tell you about it later. I, you're going to have to watch my video. If you want to learn about this, you need to watch the video. <laughs> All right, get out of my shot. Uh -uh. Because you're too cute. You never should do videos with kids and dogs. All right, so. All right, you can stand there. Just don't. You're, you're, there's April. Your friend April is on there. All right, I'm amazed. So um, sorry for that little side uh, winder there. I took her um, severe, ate the door frame too. Severus, is that the name? Or severe, so severe, um, uh, unless the dog's name is Severus. Severus, oh, yeah, Severus ate the door frame too. Yeah, I've seen dogs eat the door frames. Um, and um, yeah, if I had something that would keep that dog from doing that and I didn't give it to Trina, I didn't give it to Trina, Trina found out from another source. But if say, say Trina had that going on right now and I said, I have a secret, I'm not going to share it with you, <laughs> right? You're, I can. I have something that could possibly keep your dog from doing it. And I just laughed. She'd go, what the hell? Why, why aren't you giving this to me? Um, uh, Antonia, I took her for laser treatments to make her feel better, but CBD oil was a miracle result, and I'm so grateful. I love that you're on here, Antonia. Thank you for sharing all that. April says, hi, Ray. Hi. Uh, says, in shape. Snape. <laughs> okay. Uh, Antonio, I cannot judge anxiety as I am. Uh, I am a trainer and the way I train reduces anxiety. Good. So cannot judge uh, results of C CBD here, but we are, we sell it in our shop and people that buy it for their dogs report of calming effects uh, on their dogs. And that is a really good point, right? And so I want to make sure and share with you what I've shared on my personal uh, story is that the only thing that I've changed in my life in the last four weeks in regard to this issue of uh, high blood pressure, uh, pre-diabetic uh, pain, and what else, uh, asleep 
and uh, the skin irritation that's now gone. Uh, the only thing that changed in my life so that I know for sure it has to do with the CBD oil is I've added CBD oil. I've changed nothing else. As a matter of fact, I probably eat worse than I did before because I was really careful on my diet before. Uh, I guess one of the side effects is that I'm less concerned about my diet because CBD oil has been doing so much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my good eating plan along with the CBD oil and now really see what the results are. If I combine a really good diet with CBD oil, wow, uh, I could, I, I'm actually going to go backwards in age. I'm going to I feel inside 25 and actually the outside will actually begin to turn 25. That is my goal. That is my crazy goal. My second crazy goal that if it's so crazy, if you tell somebody, they're going to say that you're crazy. Um, and so that is my goal. Thank you, uh, Antonia, for your sharing. Trina, thank you for, so much for sharing uh, your information too. And that is important. I just want to make sure that those of you that are watching understand that it, you just don't listen to me necessarily. I'm telling you that my, my experience is I'm not uh, amping up anything. Uh, if you want to see my uh, medical reports that I show you uh, in the, uh, the the Facebook lives that I've done over the last couple of weeks, just go to Today's Oil Facebook page, um, uh, Today's CBD Oil in my Facebook page, and you'll see that I posted those videos in there. You can watch them and see because I'm, I'll, I give you give you the information and show you the result. Um, that's where you can find that. All right. So uh, I, let's see. Uh, thank you, Antonia. Melanie Biglow, uh, my vet prescribed it uh, for my Newf, my Newfoundland, uh, with osteosarcoma. I was hesitant to use it, but it seemed to help her relax while she was going through uh, palliative treatment. Yes, uh, it is uh, one of those things that people are uh, using during their uh, other types of treatment uh, that causes all kinds of other issues, right? Uh, cancer treatment uh, is one of those things that people are taking it because of the treatment, the treatment makes you feel so horrible. The CBD oil is taking the edge off on much of that um, discomfort during that kind of treatment. And thank you, Melanie, for sharing that. That's really good. Uh, it'd be interesting to know, to see uh, over a long period of time, how it affects your dog in other ways. Because I think uh, it's, it's, that's the crazy thing is that it wasn't just one thing that I saw a difference in, right? When you have high blood pressure, they give you high blood pressure medication. When you have, uh, you know, high cholesterol, they give you high, uh, they give you cholesterol medication uh, and so on and so forth. This one thing, if it, if you had to pay for all the medication for all the things that it helps, it, you would be broke, right? So it's a bargain. Uh, I'm not sure the price because I buy a lot of it. Uh, and so I'm not sure what, you know, two or three bottles is. Uh, but imagine having to buy five or six different medications, which this thing is helping me with. How much would that cost? Uh, an arm and a leg, even with insurance, it would cost still a lot of money. Uh, and so that is one of the great things about this is that it's one thing. You take it in the morning, take it in the evening. It uh, tastes fine to me. Uh, some people who have sensitive uh, taste buds probably will uh, drink some water with it or something like that. But uh, it, it, I love the taste. Um, I gave some to my son last night. He slept like a baby. He snored louder louder than me, if that's possible. What? Uh, no, uh, Kelly. Seriously? But I don't snore. I, I've been told. I, I know he I don't snore. snore. I don't snore. I uh, I stayed awake all night to see if I snored all through the night, and I didn't snore once. I was. I did. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and Les, I'm, I'm just waiting for another testimonial to come on here. That would be great if we got one more. Uh, Matthew, did I miss anything? Did I say anything? Misstate anything? If you're still on here, Matthew, I'm not sure if you are. Um, uh, let me know if there's anything what? that I missed. It is hot in here. What? I'm much possible? It's hot in my studio. Whenever, you're, whenever I'm cold, you're warm. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm hot, you're cold. I don't know. I don't know. Crazy. Craziness. Um, Yes. If I miss anything, let me know. Oh, peppermint. Yes. Uh, there's peppermint flavor. That's the kind I take. It's a uh, peppermint flavored and it's just like uh, brushing your teeth. Um, and so uh, how I take it um, and how I've heard people putting on croutons and giving it to their dog. That's how they give them the CBD oil. There's also some biscuits that uh, hip work sells that you can give your dog that has CBD oil. Uh, and uh, if you have a dog that will, you can kind of hold their mouth and, and drop it in there. You can give three to five drops to your dog in that manner. And they'll just lick it up. It, it's not something it, like a pill that they spit out. I mean, how many times do you try to give your dog one of those pills and you go Poof, and you hold your mouth and I, my police dog, uh, Falco, my police dog, I would give him a pill, right? <laughs> I stick it in his mouth and I'd shove it way down there. Like I would stick my finger all the way down there and I'd hold his mouth and I'd close his mouth and hold it shut. I would blow on his nose and I'd see him swallow. Like you'd, you'd see that action, right? I'd open my mouth and he'd look at me. And he'd spit it out. <laughs> oh, you, I'm going to get you. But with these drops, 
and you, you give them cheese, you can wrap it up in bologna, you can do all these things, right? And they even have uh, treats that you can put the pill in and give it to them. But somehow the pill always gets spit up. Well, these drops, you just drop it into their mouth, right? Or you give it, put it on something that they're going to eat, right? And it's super easy to use. It's not that big of a deal. Um, make it in coconut oil. Yes, that would be great. That would be great. I'll suggest that to the company. And if I, when I buy the company, I will make sure and do that, Antonio. So just root for me uh, to uh, be able to buy the company. Uh, you're blocking the mic so people can't hear me. Um, and so uh, that would be really good. Uh, these statements have not been evaluated. Oh, uh, so this is important to put on the video. Um, the statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, considers non-THC-based hemp products to be food-based and therefore legal without a medical marijuana license. Nice. Thank you for sharing that, Matthew. And I'll leave it up there long enough for people to read and so that it can be, and I'll do this again. Read this, right? Uh, because we want to make sure... Um, that you get that notification. All right. Good, good, good. We make it in coconut oil. Oh, we make it in coconut oil. Nice. Nice. Very cool. So, yeah. So, when I buy the company, I'll come to you and you'll give us, uh, I'll buy the recipe off of you. How about that? <laughs> send me some samples. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, definitely send me some samples. That would be great. That would be great. Thank you, Antonia. You've been fantastic on, on here. So I really, I really appreciate you coming on. All right. Thank you for that, Matthew. Uh, oh, my daughter's apparently drawing something. A dog with, oh, it has four legs. Looks like a dinosaur with four legs. <laughs> Dogs are hard. I drew, a do I drew a dog the other day on one of the Falco Canyon Academy um, uh, videos. You can see it down below. It's on uh, detection dogs, a video that I was uh, breaking down. <clears throat> it was beautiful. It was probably the best dog I've ever drawn. All right. Uh, yes, they're not going to be able to see it, Ray. Oh, yeah, I guess they can. So just move your head. All right. Oh, she's, uh, <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you how I take it. All right. So, uh, in, in, at night, uh, I brush my teeth because of course you brush your teeth and you take some water and you spit the water out. Right. So you do that first. Then I take the CBD oil and then I go to bed with it in my mouth. You put uh, 10 drops. Actually, I'm down to five drops underneath my tongue and, uh, and drop it in there. And then I just go to bed. Right. And then in the morning, kind of the same routine, I wake up, brush my teeth, uh, take my drops and then wait about 15 to 30 minutes before I uh, get my coffee, eat my meal, that kind of stuff. So I just give it some time. Just make sure the brushing of the teeth, I think, is important because you don't want to do the drops first and then brush your teeth right afterwards and then spit out because you'll lose probably some of the uh, the oil that's still kind of lingering on your mouth that would normally go into your system. You're going to end up spitting it out and you don't want to waste it. Right. It's like gold uh, in the sense that you don't want to lose any of that um, to spitting it up. How do you determine what doses to take? That is a really good question. And that is one that I usually refer to Matthew uh, uh, with. But um, I have heard everything from three drops to 15 drops. And I think I've even seen people take 20 drops. And that is for really bad whatever it is they're trying to take. Right. They have a, uh, they're trying to calm down, whether it's, uh, you know, serious cancer issues. Um you know, serious pain, serious ailments. They're, they're getting into those 20 drops in the morning and in the evening, twice a day, and then maybe even a couple in the middle, right? Uh, um, you know, really bad anxiety where it's like, it's, it's painful anxiety. Uh, and then down. Um, with Ray, uh, I believe we talked about going to five uh, drops in the morning and in the evening. Uh, Matthew, remind me if I'm wrong. I probably would have. To, I was driving when I was talking to you with my two sons back from karate. So between then and, and now, I've already forgotten. But I would ask you before I started. Uh, but uh, she's smaller than I am. So five to her is like my 10 uh, when I started. And then we'll kind of change it based on what we're seeing. If we're not seeing uh, great results, then we can go a little bit higher. The, the good news is you can't OD on the CBD oil. It'll just kind of probably, if you were to drink the bottle, uh, what I understand is it would probably just give you diarrhea <laughs> and, uh, and then you would have to pass and then it would, uh, it would pass it all out of your system and it would go away. Uh, and so, yes. Um, start with five drops, two times a day. Perfect. Yep. And then kind of adjust based on what results you're getting or not getting. Antonio, uh, no, don't waste it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> don't spit it out with your toothpaste. Uh, that would be bad. That'd be waste. All right. The good information. That was a good question. Uh, uh, April, thank you for asking that. Um, oh, the dog turned into a rose magic. So now we have a rose. 
look at Aldo and they did they they jacked up my uh, whiteboard. All right, so that is it. Uh, no, you cannot OD. Yeah, Antonio says uh, reinforced. Uh, no, you cannot OD. Uh, if you uh, drink an entire bottle, it'll probably just like wall be way too much. Uh, I had a daughter, my oldest daughter. She actually ate um, when she was a kid because butter tastes so good. She ate the whole cube of butter. Um, <laughs> She was affected uh, by that for a very long time. Like, no butter. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want any more butter. <clears throat> and, um, and yeah, so, yeah, it's no, just I'm like that. I'm not going to do that, but I do like butter. <laughs> good, good thinking. Uh, and, yes, I was going to tell a blonde joke, but I'm not going to. Because you're beautifully smart tell and blonde. Joke. What? Tell no, I don't, I, I don't have one. All right. Did you hear about the blonde who locked herself inside the car? <laughs> All right. I, that's a downer, right? I've left on a downer. I am so sorry uh, uh, for all of you uh, blondes out there. Uh, you can put, put brunette. Uh, brunette, do you hear about the 56-year-old man who locked himself inside the car? You know, it, it's um, uh, it's the same. You can you, you put anything in there. All right. So I apologize to all the blondes out there. All right. That is it for me. I hope that I did uh, did you a service by sharing this with you. And again, if you have anything that you want to say if there's anything that you've read that contradicts anything that i've said post it in the comments i need to know uh if you need to uh if you want to share one of your stories like uh, antonia did and, and um trina did and anybody else who shared uh, information about how it's helping their dogs um or yourself and post your comments in there it's all good right uh, and then order, uh, order some and try it. Give it a shot. See what your dog, see what results you get with your dog and share them with me. All right. Since I shared with you everything that's going on, if I, and I shared you this fabulous information that if I kept to myself, you would be pissed, right? Uh, since I shared it with you, I need you to share the results, whether they're not nothing or something, right? Uh, I want to, I want to know the results. I want to hear from you. And I want to know that the information I'm giving to you is good. All right, that's super, super important to me. It's super important to me. Do not keep it to yourself. Just don't give me a, a, a stupid one on the uh, the on the test or not the testimonials. What is it? The uh, you know whether they like you or not uh, page, the Yelp page, uh, which is silly. Again, I go back to that. Really, the decision you made not to come to Falco Canyon Academy because it has two bad comments, uh, of which uh, they don't. Those people didn't even come to our training. I know, and uh, uh, but who cares? We've trained thousands of dogs, and we've got two complaints. Uh, I, I'm surprised that we only have two complaints because I know there's people. Uh, I was uh, I was sort of uh, I was doing a certification for somebody. They brought their dog. My dog's the best dog on the planet, and uh, I need you to certify it because I hear your certification is the best. And you know, I just want to add that to my certifications. Okay, I put out the high. Um, the dog and him were searching, passed by the hide once, passed by the hide a second time. And I said, sorry, you know, um, no, I'm sorry, I can't give you certification. F you. And he throws down his leash and he goes storming out, gets in his car. Uh, and I think he even left his leash after he threw it and uh, and left. He didn't even write a complaint. So I know that there's people that I've upset because uh, our, our certification is difficult. We've told people that they can't be dog handlers because they just don't have what it takes. They can't dance. And so they can't uh, work with their dog. And so there's uh, people I know for sure that I've upset. Right. And yet we only have two complaints. And uh, that was the decision somebody made was not to come to us because of those two uh, lonely complaints that we have. All right. So that's it. All right. Sorry. I went on another tangent there about something entirely different. All right. April, everybody. Um, Antonio, Antonia, Matthew, uh, Trina, and all the others who joined and chimed in. Melanie, um, and I know there was others, but I'm, I'm forgetting. I know I should never do that, right? You should never start naming people because you're going to leave somebody out and you're going to hurt their feelings. Uh, and all the others that watched. Um, and um, and just um, uh, in, enjoy your dogs. Um, get them out. Don't leave them in the backyard. Don't leave them in your house, right? The whole purpose of having a dog is so you can have a relationship with this animal and you can do things with them. And if one of those things is keeping you from getting your dog out and doing things is the pain that they're in, try the CBDO. Give it a shot. Uh, let us know how it worked for you, if it worked at all, and uh, and 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 just try your best to, to give your dog the best life possible. And this may be one of those things that can do that. All right, so that's it. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.